For an East Bay company is hoping to harness wind power in a way that could change cargo shipping forever. As ABC 7's Terry McSweeney tells us, hey Terry, tell us now, it's a new twist on a very old technology, right Terry? Absolutely. You know, historians will tell you that back in 1775 was when the first sailing vessel came through the Golden Gate. There's nothing new about wind power, but there is something very new about the technology they're using to try to harness more of it. Did you see it on the bay last weekend? A huge kite helping pull a 140-ton workboat from the Golden Gate Bridge to Alameda. Kite Ship Corporation of Alameda, which provided this video, put on this combination demonstration and experiment to promote this form of wind power. Company executives say it can reduce cargo ship fuel consumption by 10 to 25 percent, which would be huge savings. Ships might burn a million and a half, two million, even five million dollars in fuel a year. And it would clean up the air filling those kites. Every gallon of fuel not burned is, is, is three gallons worth of CO2 that doesn't go into the atmosphere. It's huge amounts of, of sulfur dioxide that doesn't go into the atmosphere, huge amounts of nitrous oxide that doesn't go into the atmosphere. This did its job. It arrested the tear. Kite ship's Dean Jordan assessed the partially wind-powered crews. Not all went so smoothly. We didn't get a practice, and uh, so we literally had to fabricate the um, um, equipment to, to steer the kite. There was trouble with one of the winches. The line would come on the winch, overwrap, and then lock up. Still, the experiment was educational. Jordan and Culp worked together in the 90s on a kite for the Oracle BMW team in the America's Cup yacht race. He says had those on board the yacht deployed their kite, which was an approved spinnaker replacement sail, the USA would have defeated New Zealand, and this type of wind power would be famous by now. Can you imagine uh, uh, Oracle wins America's Cup using a kite? That would have made some headlines around the world. Kite Ship hopes its next video will show it making headlines by engineering a 13,000 square foot kite to co-power vessels up to 600 feet in length, saving $300,000 in fuel per year per vessel. And it seems a matter of when, not if, with this technology. There are companies in Asia and Europe also working on the same kind of technology. And the folks over in Alameda tell me that you're going to see kite ships on the high seas in three to five years. Over on the Marin side of the Golden Gate Bridge, Terry McSweeney, ABC 7 News.